23 years old, Mr. Beast, aka Jimmy Donaldson, is one of the most watched YouTubers out there. Known for stunts as wide ranging as reading every word in the dictionary, to turning his backyard into a ball pit, to being willing to be buried alive inside a glass coffin. The single most important thing when it comes to creating content for Mr. Beast is to make sure that his videos are as good as they absolutely can be, which is probably why he's done some insane things over the years. Such as spend more than $300,000 on a series of videos that he simply tossed away because they weren't up to his high standards of quality. To the slightly more practical side of things, like securing a massive studio located on 100 acres of land. With an estimated net worth of over $25 million, Mr. Beast is one of the highest paid YouTubers out there. I mean, he's gotta be loaded considering he's always giving away money. It's from within the halls of his massive studio located in the state of North Carolina that he operates his empire known as Mr. Beast Studios and dreams up content for his over 53 million YouTube subscribers. Want a closer look inside? Then keep watching. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment or in the case of this video, a studio tour. Checking out where Mr. Beast makes all his YouTube magic happen. Don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me over on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. As a kid, Mr. Beast grew up in eastern North Carolina in the city of Greenville. He attended Greenville Christian Academy and during his tenure there, he began uploading content to YouTube under the name of Mr. Beast 6000. Mr. Beast would film the majority of this early content from the comfort of a computer chair in his own bedroom. In fact, that's the very spot where he recorded his first viral video, which dropped in January of 2017 and showcased him counting to 100,000. At that point, Mr. Beast had already dropped out of college and his desire to succeed as a YouTuber was so great that he spent 44 hours recording that one video alone. Just goes to show you the type of dedication that Mr. Beast has had from the get go. Over the next handful of years, Mr. Beast would steadily increase the scale of his videos and contests until they became some of the biggest stunts on the internet. Seriously, as he made more and more money, he not only increased the budget for each project, he decided to lay down a fortune to the tune of $10 million. Yeah, that's right. You heard me, $10 million on a key piece of real estate in North Carolina. Once he blew up in 2017, Mr. Beast had moved his productions into a smaller studio that used to be an old school firehouse located in his hometown of Greenville. But he eventually outgrew that place as well as a further three studio rentals as the scope of his project continued to climb. Then in 2021, he moved to this new location which offers much more room to breathe. So where is this paradise located? Well, as you might imagine, Mr. Beast is keeping the actual address of this place under pretty tight guard. I looked up his mailing address on South Glen Burnie Road, New Bern, North Carolina, but when I plugged that into Google Maps, all I got was a UPS address, which you know, figures. If I were to guess, I'd say that Mr. Beast Studio must be pretty close to that location. After all, it's pretty unlikely that the man travels out of town every day to pick up his mail, unless he's only making that journey like once a month or something. Then again, during his recent interview with Colin and Samir over on YouTube, Mr. Beast stated that he's still creating all of his content from his hometown of Greenville, which Google claims is about an hour drive from Newburgh. Does he have a practical reason for sticking to his hometown? Of course. But my heart still goes out to the intern who has to make the trip to that UPS one town over on a regular basis. All right, now back to the studio. Located on more than 100 acres of land, which Mr. Beast plans on developing at some point for his future use, this place has absolutely everything you could possibly be looking for in a studio. That includes oodles of room, high ceilings, open spaces, and the peace and quiet of knowing you won't be bothered by people as you're hard at work creating. As of right now, Mr. Beast's studio is divided into several different sections. Over in Studio One, primary sets are crafted on the main floor and upstairs there are offices for the writers. Then there's the prop warehouse, which as you can no doubt imagine houses a whole bunch of throwbacks for those of us who are longtime followers. 
Just north of the prop warehouse is a trailer that Mr. Beast uses for his gaming setup as well as his Beast Reacts videos. A short distance away from there is Studio 2, which is smack dab beside yet another building that's entirely dedicated towards Mr. Beast's philanthropic endeavors and houses all of the food that he gives away in his videos in a refrigerated space. Finally, there's Studio 3, which lays claim to being the biggest studio space on the entire east coast of the United States. Meanwhile, in an office across town, Jimmy's mom takes care of all the accounting and HR demands that a multi-million dollar business requires. Why the division of labor and creation of multiple spaces? Well, it really just comes down to the practical reason of needing as much real estate as possible to have multiple video projects on the go at once, since each one, well, it can take months to create. Another reason that Mr. Beast needs so much space? Well, over the past couple of years, his workforce has grown substantially. All of this might have just started off with him by himself, but now Mr. Beast videos are created by a team of nearly two dozen people. A large percentage of his employees are said to be part of a network of friends, a family, and acquaintances, and their roles range from being writers to editors to production assistants who have to work tirelessly to do things like, you know, clean up after the construction of the two largest Lego towers ever. After stepping through Mr. Beast's studio, I think we'd all have to agree, it more or less looks like the perfect place to work, right? Well, maybe not to all. In May of 2021, a shocking investigation into Mr. Beast's workplace had discovered that paradise isn't exactly the word many people who have worked there would use to describe it. In short, there were rumors spread that Mr. Beast created a hostile work environment and that he constantly made unreasonable demands. Honestly, I'm torn after hearing that. Sure, maybe Mr. Beast isn't the happy-go-lucky giving person he shows on YouTube all of the time, but are any of us? Can't blame the guy if he's a perfectionist either. There's likely a reason for all of his global success. Either way, I highly doubt that Mr. Beast or his studio will be going anywhere anytime soon. If anyone on YouTube is too big to fail, it's definitely this guy. And now, with a studio space like that, he's got the tools to expand to even greater heights. From starting off in a tiny bedroom space, to moving into a small office, to now being the owner of a $10 million studio that's pumping out some of the most in-demand content in the entire world, it's pretty incredible to track Mr. Beast's career and see how far he's come. All right, everyone, I think we'll bring this latest house tour or studio tour, I should say, to an end right here. What did you all think of Mr. Beast's studio? Do you think it's the best YouTuber studio you've ever seen? Be sure to let us know down in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to our content while you're here. I'm Kara, follow me over on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye.